Hello everybody, welcome to a new project on my channel. We are going to make this large folio using Graphic 45's Kaleidoscope Collection, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, this is a design team project for Country Craft Creations, and it is a large folio. We're gonna do a flip through now so you'll see what we're making. And I also have one piece of advice that I'm gonna give you um, that you won't hear in the video because I didn't wasn't aware of it until after, and of course I'm recording this flip through at the end. Um, but anyway, so here's our large folio. It is decorated with flowers. Uh, most of these flowers are actually Prima flowers, although all the paper is graphic 45. Um, the uh, leaves that you see here were, um, were die cuts that I um, cut myself, but if you don't have a machine to cut them, you can certainly, I'm sure, find some flowers that you can use. Uh, and these little findings were also from my collection. Okay, uh, the little beads also, again, for my collection, but you can use whatever beads you have. So, uh, the folio and what I'm doing here, I'm gonna grab, I have this little towel just to protect the flowers as I have it flipped open like this. They're pretty sturdy, but still, just for safety's sake. So on the inside front cover, we have multiple pockets with inserts including a little photo insert that we're going to make. Okay. And yeah, we'll slide that back in. All right, and then this is the other inside cover, and this is just left plain with the beautiful paper on it. And I'll just put this open so you can see. Now you've already seen this inside cover. Here's the middle inside. It is closed with seam binding, which opens, of course, like this. And what you have is a piece that has a little pocket here. And I pulled this out because these were holding this shut. And then we have a double flap here. And then a deep, a long piece here where you can put photos. And also, this, we have some large tags. There are four of these large tags in the album. Here's the first one. And then this is one of the, um, journaling cards. And then these little cards just go here. And then this opens this way. And this is the same as what we just saw with two flaps. I hope you can see that. Um, some of the cards and one of the large um, tags that we're going to make. And just so you're aware, each of these has a tuck spot on it. in there and then the smaller tags just hold those shut and then this opens and again there's a matching waterfall here so I'm just gonna pull this to the side a little bit so you can see here's our waterfall and on the back is just for photos and this one is the same and then in the center this is just held down with a magnet it just you see that it just holds down and then these open like this, one to the side and up, just like that. And then you can put photos here and of course a large photo here or whatever you want. And then that just goes there. Then with this, I'm just gonna slide this over in hopes that you can see it. Okay, so then this goes over here. I have so many things in here now that it doesn't lay as flat as it otherwise might. Um, so this is a long uh, flap, and on this flap are four pockets. So it's, I think it's four or are there three? Three. So there's one here, there's this one here, a little higher, and then there's this one which contains uh, the third of the large tags, again with a tuck spot. Like that, and then this opens this way and there's a large flap here that opens, and in here we have two more pockets, one with the last of the large tags, goes there, and then this one has just some tuck spots, and yeah, not tuck spots, little cards go in it. And then there's a large pocket in the back, and I just put a bunch of the cut aparts, and then the last of the photo masks, and you can see I messed up with my little dots there, and then that opens up like that. Okay. And then that goes there. Whoops, I forgot to tie it. 
tie my ribbon. Now, what I'm going to, there are two things I actually am going to tell you that I will not tell you in the video because at the time I was unaware. So let me put that there. Uh, the first one is that this flap here is has a magnet in it to hold it down, but there is so much stuff between here and, and what's in all the pockets that that magnet really doesn't work. So. Um, if I, you can just leave it off and save yourself the trouble because it, it stays open fine. So um, when you see me putting a magnet on this flap here, feel free to leave it off because it's not going to work anyway and you don't need it. And then the other thing I want to warn you about is when I put this dimensional cover on, uh, there's like a separate piece that attaches to the cover and it's a dimensional. And it's up on uh, pieces of scraps of uh, the black chipboard that I use to make this. And I use two or three layers, I can't remember, of this chipboard, which is fine, and, and you should certainly do the same. However, after that, I then put some foam tape, and it was a, I don't know the brand, it was a different foam tape than I usually use. But even a name brand foam tape, I'm not sure would have been strong enough, and it, it keeps trying to come up in this corner and I finally um, took some Fabri-Tac and just like, put it in there and really put a whole lot and just held it for about 15 minutes. And now it seems to be holding. But um, I would not use the foam tape when you make this cover. You'll see me using the foam tape. I would just use another layer of the chipboard or just use the two layers that I used and don't bother with the foam tape. Um, it'll, it'll adhere a lot better if you do it that way, okay? So just remember that when you see me using foam tape to attach this to the cover, don't use the foam tape. All right, and then let me just show you the rest of it. So here's the back. Oh, you know, I'm being awkward with it. It's very heavy. <laughs> so here's the back. There's one spine and there's the other spine. Okay, um, it's large. I don't think I gave you dimensions. Let me measure it for you. It is 10, eight and a half by 10. All right, so what you're gonna need to make this is a full collection of all of the papers from the Kaleidoscope collection, plus you're going to need about four more sheets four to five more sheets. So buy some extras of the ones you like the best. And then you're also going to want um, some other cardstock from the Colors cardstock. And I used Poolside, which is that teal that you see. Let me get in here. Uh, it's like a teal color right here. It's called Poolside. So you want to get this one. This is all from um, Country Craft Creations. And I used two sheets of that, okay? And then I also used some white, you can see it here, and in some um, of the mats inside these little photo books. So get some white if you don't already have it. Oh, and then the other place thing I used was some purple from the Custom Colors also, or I think it's called Custom Colors. Well, it's the colored cardstock at Country Craft Creations, right? And so you need the pool side and you need this purple. And you need some white artisan and black artisan cardstock. And I used um, black chipboard to make that front cover piece which you can also get at Country Craft Creations. But if you don't want to use the black um, you could use something else. I just think it would be, you'll make your life easier if you have a couple of sheets at least of the black. Okay, I used black throughout, but most of it's wrapped, so it wouldn't, you wouldn't find it noticeable that I used black. But here, for this arch and this piece that the arch is attached to, um, I recommend that you get the black. Okay? So there's that. Um, there are some magnets, so you'll need some magnets and some seam binding. 
And here are some of the pretty colors that you can get at Country Craft Creations. There's a bright blue and a purple. This jade color is gorgeous. Uh, so you could use all of those and any other bright colors that you wanted. All right, so that's everything I think you need to know before we get started. Uh, I will have a cut list and a template for this arch available on my, um, on my blog when we get started. As soon as I get it posted, I'll let you know. Uh, hopefully it'll be soon. And within the, before, I, before I begin posting the instructional videos, I'll try to make sure that that's up. So I guess that is it. Um, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. And make sure you hit the um, notification bell so that you get all the notices of when I post a new video. Um, I'm not sure how many there will be in this series. It will not be as long as my last series, which was very long. Uh, but it is a complicated project, so there will be several parts. And But it's not that hard either. It's not as hard as it looks. So I will see you next time, and we will get started with our sort of jumbo folio, okay? Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you very soon, and we'll be crafting together. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.